Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. There's a lot of milestones today, a lot of really good stuff, a lot of fun stuff too, but we're gonna start with some of the more boring uh, checklist things. Um, starting with trying to get some more chickens. Um, I have, you might notice two different pens with chickens in it. One just has a male chicken and the other like a bunch of different ones. Um, I, I don't think this is true in this game, but I am keeping the males separate for uh, I guess realistic purposes because I don't want them to basically kill each other. I don't know if that's a thing that happens in this game, but it's a thing that apparently happens in real life. So I am trying to be cautious and I don't want the uh, you know to lose one of my chickens. So anyway, I'm keeping them separate. If it turns out to be something that's not true, then I'll uh, you know group them together later. But I think for now. It's okay. So we got our uh, humongous temporal storm, um, you know, happening. I was a little bit worried. I'm, I'm looking through the window at uh, my animals there, worried that they, they might have a problem through the, uh, the storm, but I don't know. I don't think that uh, the dwellers seem to want to attack or kill, uh, you know, animals. So I think they're okay. Decided to try and get some stuff done here. I wanted to make another lantern because I still have dwellers spawning in my base for some reason. I do, I swear to God, uh, that one of the last updates, or maybe the beta, um, has is a bit more aggressive with spawning creatures, but I don't know. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to make a lantern, but I kept getting harassed by dwellers, and I kept thinking, oh, well, that's, that's it for now, and actually, no, not even close. In fact, I saw some of the worst creatures uh, during this temporal storm than I ever have before and it became a real problem this guy here crawling around Watch what happens here. He actually kills me so hard that I get thrown up into the second floor Like he 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 kind of like Looney Tunes punched me through the the ceiling Which is it, it just incredible. In fact, he did it almost again right there he, He's just like hits like a Mack truck um, so that was really not a good time and he was really difficult to kill as well and these guys are just just a huge problem corrupt dwellers or our drifters are no no joke either that guy like punched me through the floorboards um, and this two-headed drifter here on the ground is, is still wandering around uh, trying to trying to murder me he's oh, I guess that's a different that's a corrupt drifter but either way these guys suck I don't like them um, yeah, bad temporal storm. I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna have to figure that out um, uh, You know on the list of things that I have to solve problems I have to solve but uh, in any case the temporal storm is over and the threat has passed right? Um, well, at least I can finish the lantern um, But uh, you know, you might have noticed I've opted for lanterns instead of torch holders um, there's a good reason for that, but uh, I Noticed some like interesting lighting there, but yeah that two-headed Drifter is still hanging out. Um, I noticed that you can pile coal, so I decided to actually finally pile it next to our little stove there um, for for ease of use. And I was like, oh, I'll go, I'll go to sleep, you know, just just to get rid of some of these creatures and despawn them. And I I get killed here. <laughs> Something crawled right up to me and murdered me in my sleep. So that's a first. But we finally killed that double-headed. Uh, drifter and hey, I got a temporal gear. I forget what those do. I think you can make a spawn point out of them But um, I, I don't want to do that there I'm sure they have other uses and I'm sure they will have other uses because I have noticed um, in this beta update that there's been a lot of new and interesting uh, Things added that you can make and we'll go through a couple of them. I I'm a little bit sorry to spoil them but uh, before we get to that stuff, I, I love to point out these things, these <laughs> emergent kind of storytelling things. But, you know, I'm trying to get this here sheep and we'll get to that in a second. But I didn't notice that there was a wolf right there. So now I'm being attacked by a wolf and a sheep while the wolf is also attacking the sheep. And that's just like a uh, really just just really fun stuff. So I come back here and uh, kill the wolf. And uh, I think I get some fat from this wolf. Let's, let's see. Honestly, it'll be a surprise for both of us, but, you know, honestly. Uh, but like I say, you know, big milestones. We're, we're getting up there uh, with that uh, fat. That valuable, nice fat. So here here's our, her fun, fun little side story for today. I, I went to great efforts to get the sheep because I thought 
it was a male sheep. I don't know why I thought it was a male sheep. I have no idea why I thought it was a male sheep. It was like, that's a male sheep for sure, right? So I'm trying my new method of, you know, punching it and then uh, getting it to chase me and and running it back to to my base and, you know, what what a, an ordeal. And it was in fact a female sheep and it killed me here. And, but hey, I got it, right? Um, that That's fantastic, we got it. And, uh, and I just kind of like, you know, moved on. But hey, we got an egg. Look at that. Look at that egg. Look at that fruit of our labors. We got an egg. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited about that egg, I won't lie. You know, animal husbandry, it's it was very intimidating for me. It's something I honestly didn't even want to do. But uh, it was something I knew we had to do. I, I, I still think it's a male sheep for some reason. I think I'm done. Like, I've got the full set now. I've got the whole family of sheep. I've got, you know, a baby and a female and a male sheep. I very much did assume the sheep's gender. I, we can make we can make the joke, I suppose. Um, but I did. And uh, it was it was in fact the female sheep. Oops. Um, well, let's move on. Um, you know, I, uh, I I'm going to be showing off a lot of harvesting bees because that's the thing that i'm doing a lot now and there's more than one reason to do that it's not just making lamps although the lamps are a good thing and i mentioned um opting for lanterns over torches they just shed more light and i think they're nicer overall also i can hang them on the ceiling so i just like them also the the cost is the same in terms of materials um i think my 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 I don't, who cares but like the metal um for the torch holders you have to make two plates for two torch holders and you have to only make one plate for one lantern so it's exactly the same but like i just like the lanterns i think they look nice um we're finally making we're making some food with the egg there which is pretty good isn't that fun <laughs> I was uh, I was actually really amused that it showed a little egg in in the pot. There's some really nice like little uh, extra touches and details when you, when it comes to food. Um, but yeah, no, I think I still think I have the full set of sheep, and it's just it, it blows my mind as I was like uh, going over the footage. I'm like, wow, I really thought I was done, but I was not. But uh, yeah, no. Um, the egg, you can, it adds a bit of extra protein to your soup. It's just an extra thing. I found another uh, resin generator here. That pine log is going to come in handy. I should really have marked it on the map because resin is going to be a thing that we need a lot of. Um, oh yeah, sorry. I was mentioning that uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to need way more wax, not just for lanterns, but also um, you can use wax to uh, preserve food. You can use wax to seal your crocs as well as your cheese and we'll get to cheese later cheese is definitely gonna be a thing that we want um but it's it's you know we'll get there uh it's a very industrious uh concept cheese but you know right now we're on our first generation of sheep maybe technically second generation although i don't think that that is true i don't know i think there's still that that baby is basically still a first generation and I'm gonna have to wait until I'm like basically at third generation, but there's the sealed crocs. That's basically, you know, me learning that I can seal them and that will um, help them stay fresh for longer, uh, which is great. Got to get some leather done. This is actually finally going to bear fruit, um, this whole leather tanning business uh, in the next episode, which is kind of kind of great. Um, I'm, I'm very excited about that. But uh, yeah, this this whole beekeeping business is is really um, taking off. I probably have a far larger field of bees than I really need. Um, but like I say, we're gonna need a lot of wax because I do want to get into sealing a bunch of jars. So like, there's there's kind of three boxes I need to check um, in order to be really well off for the winter. Um, one of them is having wax. Another is having salt, and we're going to get this into salt in the next episode. Um, that's going to also be for preserving foods. And, uh, you know, we just got to make sure we have enough food um, for ourselves and, and for the, our, our, you know, new animals, our new mouths to feed. And we got to make sure that the food stays fresh through the winter, um, for the most part. 
uh, there's a lot of things to, to you know, we got to make sure we, we do to do that, but that, those are the boxes. So we're finally getting this flax. Um, this has been pending and I got really impatient with it because like half of it was like ready to go and the other half was not for some reason. But I was finally able to um, reap in that flax and make some twine and therefore make some canvas. And I stumbled upon this recipe. I was like, what do you mean parchment? How long has that been in the game? Is that new? And I'm like, what do you mean books? You can make books. And then I stumble upon this glider schematic. Are you kidding? So there's a glider in the game, apparently, and you can make it. Um, but you need a glider schematic in order to, to make it. So our windmill is now two tiers higher. Um, it's starting to look like an actual windmill, which I'm pretty pretty stoked about um and we get to throw some we'll throw some flax grain at the sheep they'll be happy about it still still think uh i've got uh, a male sheep by the way um you know that's it's pretty good um i'm feeding them and and I, I still think that one of them is male really good time really good moment um but i'm i'm looking at our windmill and i'm thinking you know what would really complete that windmill what would make it good would make it much better as if it functioned uh actually provided power towards something so uh, i'm gonna make some angled uh, an angled gear to connect to the big wheel that i have in the very tippy top roof and uh and some axles so uh, we're making some axles and i have just just barely not enough here but we're gonna i'm gonna talk a little bit about it because here's the thing like i know this is an extremely uh material expensive or material costly uh venture here because uh, I've gone ahead and decided to make a, you know, very tall windmill and uh, try to, you know, bring that power down through our building. And I want to talk a little bit about why. Because I, I know a lot of people are going to be like, why, why did you do this? This was way more expensive than you needed it to be. Um, you know, even like bringing the power back is expensive. Never mind bringing it through two floors. So we bring it, we have power in the attic and we have power on the second floor. And you'll see here, I just barely don't have enough axles to get to where I need it to be. Um, the reason I wanted, I opted to have this very long kind of a power output is because I wanted to have uh, options for putting mechanisms in both the attic and the second floor. Um, and, you know, for various reasons, I like to keep my options open and I also think it just looks nice. So uh, it's kind of like the barn in the first place. You know, there's no reason to build a house that big, but doing so, you know, leaves our, gives us lots of room for growth and lots of options for um, e e expansion. So he here's here's what a male sheep looks like. That's, a, that's what a male sheep lo looks like. And it's right there. And the animal pen is right there. And I'm like, That's a sheep. Never mind. Not gonna get it. Not gonna. Not gonna go and grab the male sheep. Let's go do some other things first. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, we're gonna like, you know, kind of messing around with pots and organizing our eggs. And what is? What are we doing? What is this? And we're gonna looking at the flax, I suppose, and literally looking at ga grass grow. And I'm not grabbing the male sheep, which is now standing right in front of the the pen just no no gonna walk away let's go get some chickens instead i want some uh, friends for the the second pen that sounds like a good idea oh i need i need to move the trog okay i'll move the trog there it is uh it's, it's standing in front of the pen and and i'm finally seeing wait a minute that thing that looks different from the other two sheep maybe maybe i ought to capitalize on the situation Oh, wow. Wow. Very good. Very, very good. I actually realized that one sheep was different from the other two sheep and decided to literally let it into the pen. <laughs> but hey, we got some, uh, we got some chicken, uh, baskets i don't forget what i don't know what they're called whatever um these are for incubating the eggs which i do want to do uh, i guess there's no reason to really get more chickens once you have at least two um then you should be able to get more and i was actually standing in front of the pen there to mock the male sheep for 
reasons unknown. Mm. I, I'm not kidding. I was, you know, stand like, yeah, you got, uh, you know, you got uh, captured and then it killed me and I deserve that 100%. I have absolutely no place mocking the animal for um, walking into the pen as if I did anything and in fact, uh, you know, made many, many moves to uh, work against that act of God. Um, but uh, hey, never mind. We got some fat, you might have noticed right there and I'm um, using our our, our arrows since that I made in the last episode and we got some more fat so um, that would mean that we actually have enough fat to finish um, our, our, our very industrious project here of uh, completing a windmill but first we got to go collect some bees because you know I don't know why I wanted to you you know keep this footage I guess I like to keep the process as I say many times and I don't even have enough uh, materials to complete those lanterns but I, I'm making a couple of extra candles just to light the place up a bit and make it you know look a little nice but hey milestone moment actual power powering the kern there it is <laughs> look how fast it is Look at how fast that windmill is automating the current. Listen, I have I have no room for complaints and uh, complaints, and I, I did enjoy it, and I'd love to end it there. But hey, let's uh, you know let's end it on a higher note, I suppose. I, I this is technically me completing the windmill. I don't think I can have it any larger than that. Although I might be wrong. I think it's like five tiers or max. But what a what a nice moment. I actually have a powered kern. Uh, we'll get into optimizing the situation later, but um, and, and it, it's not going to stay like that. I, I have a lot of work left to do, but hey, I figured out how the the pot works and I can put flowers in it. And doesn't that look nice? I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing. Take it easy.